The podcast doctor is in. We're pushing pause on podcast bootcamp video series to debut a new concept. Smartphone management for the gadget challenged. We will highlight the similarities of smartphones so you can get the most out of any device. We live in a binary world, it's true. Good and evil, day and night, Coke and Pepsi, Mickey D's and the other guy. Yes, smartphones operate differently, but as these devices are maturing and becoming mainstream, they are more alike than different. The birth of the smartphone was the debut of scattered data, which Apple solved by introducing iCloud so we could share data between devices. I got myself into trouble when I conducted a session about cloud management for NCE. I didn't explain it properly. Cloud services are an example of blockchain technology. They are more alike than different. The differences exist in the programs peculiar to the device, i.e. Word versus Pages, Apple's version of word processing. With a PC, you must purchase a license for Microsoft Office, Word, and Excel, including an annual subscription for cloud services. That's always been the strength of Apple devices. They build certain programming into the device. For the PC user, Apple has created iCloud for Windows. It doesn't resolve the differences between the operating systems, but it supports both equally. Once upon a time, we believed there was such a thing as cell phone etiquette. Worshippers might leave their cell phones in the car. The advent of smartphones changed everything. Add to that our expectation that our house of worship is to be wired and our need to be connected. But we still should show some respect. And yes, there are a number of ways to temporarily mute your smartphone. Number one is to shut it down completely. But we're much too addicted to do that. Second best, turn on airplane mode. The advantage here is that we totally disconnected. Functionality is limited to device-based activities. No calls, no texts, no games. Another method, do not disturb. Visit settings, set a custom time for your worship schedule or longer. Voila! In an emergency, family members can override Do Not Disturb by calling twice. If you use airplane mode, turn it off during the singing of the last hymn. By the time you reach the parking lot, your world will have caught up to you. This has been the first installment of Smartphone Management for the Gadget Challenged.